signed uh, Danny Leavitt today. Just what have been your impressions of him since he's come in? It just uh, as far as his play, he he sees ahead of the game. Um, you compare like a top chess player who sees moves ahead. That's how Danny plays in the middle of midfield, and and at such a young age to be able to see two three plays ahead is is really valuable. Um, so it's important for the club, I think, to make sure there's a personal development plan for him, and we're working with him in the years to come. Obviously, you've seen a lot of soccer players over the years. What makes Danny Leva so special? Yeah, his vision, his feet are good, uh, very good passer, um, and his mentality. He, he was part of the USSDA team that won the national championship uh, for Sounders FC Academy. Um, he has continued to improve, and I think he's shown in the Tacoma Defiance games that he belongs at that level. How important is it that he's part of the youth national team uh, aspect with Coach Wiki and things like that? Yeah, I think, I think being part of that group would be fantastic for him. We always support our players who get a chance with the youth national teams. It's another experience for them. Uh, Rafa Wicke's a, a fantastic coach with great experience, so he could, he could pick up a lot from him, uh, you know, from the center of midfield and some of the things he could pick up. So, you know, we wish him luck and hope he can continue with that team. You mentioned the Tacoma Defiance games. This is the third player to sign an MLS deal after being Defiance. Is that a signal that you're there scouting, the guards there scouting, the March there scouting, and bringing them together in your group? I think it's important with the, the whole group collaborating with Chris Little and Wade Weber and the, and the coaches and the information they give back. It's, it's also important to have the coaches of the first team and management looking at those games. So it, it helps our developmental pathway that that is the next step before you get to the first team. So those games are really important and the quality of the play and performance of the players is, is looked at and I think the players know that so that's motivation for them. Is there a feeling of achievement when you're beginning to create your own talent, kind of solidifying that investment that you guys put into that development program? It's satisfying when, you know, this is our 12th uh, homegrown signing, and it's satisfying when those players continue to develop after they get signed with the club and to see where they end up. Obviously, DeAndre Edlin is a great example in the top end. Um, but we want to make sure that uh, we are continuing the development plan with Danny and making sure he progresses in the right way and, and at the right time and with the right team. So um, his, him training with the first team today um, and his daily training with the first team shows he's at that level to compete on a daily basis in training with the men. MLS grows as more franchise players and you know Aubrey players come, but how important is that teams begin to work on this development player program on their own clubs? Yeah, it's important to develop within. One, it's, um, it, it's good for the salary cap, and, and, but it's also good for, for the club and the community and, and the players who don't make it to the pros are still fans of our club. Uh, they go on to play in college and they continue to support the Sounders and, and Tacoma. So I think uh, that part is important from, from the culture and the club piece but also being able to develop a, a, another Jordan Morris, another uh, DeAndre Edlin, uh, Henry Wingo. Those are, those are important things that we need to continue to do and improve on. 15 is obviously super young, youngest player you guys have ever signed to the first team. What did he show you guys just mentality-wise during preseason and with the defiance that convinced you he was ready for this opportunity even at that age? Yeah, the feedback on Danny from preseason from the coaching staff was positive. They, they, they really liked what they saw uh, training with, with the first team. I think Gonzalo Pineda had worked with uh, Christian Rolden and now he's working with Danny on a daily basis and, and the information he's getting is going to really help him grow. Uh, tactically, technically, and I think he showed uh, in his his ability to think ahead of the game is what really stood out for me, is that he sees plays ahead and he's able to keep the ball and not lose the ball under pressure. So Chris, what is it that you saw seeing uh, uh, Danny that stands up from the other uh, academy players that are the train with him during preseason and there are on uh, uh, Tacoma Defiance? Yeah, Felipe, from the from the being part of the USSDA U17 championship team, that winning mentality and helping that team succeed that year was really important, I think, in his growth and development. And then now he's showing it. He's he's 
he has a passion and love for the game that you can see in him. And he just, every opportunity that's in front of him, he just jumps at with a positive, happy attitude. And um, he, he seems very coachable. And the feedback from the coaching staff has been excellent. There seem to be a flood of teenagers that have been signed by the MLS um, as of recent. What does that kind of say, I guess, as of the league as a total? I think, I think it's a good sign for Major League Soccer we're signing younger players. Um, you know, when I played in the league, the league was looked at at times as a retirement league, top Europeans in their 30s coming over. And I think that trend has changed. I think the respect for the league around the world and as the league grows and continues, one is the wages that are being paid, but as the league continues to be a higher quality league, more players are going to come in the prime of their career. And then from the bottom up, with the academy system, more young players are going to come from the bottom up.